Welcome. In this video, we're going to continue with the study of the indefinite integrals. We are going to see the polynomial and the exponential integrals. Now, the first one is the polynomial integral. Now, integral that we don't consider the boundary of integration is called indefinite integral. For in this case here, as you can see, we're not considering the boundary. We don't know from where we're starting and where we are going. First case, the rule says that we have to just make the power that we're going to have plus one divided by the power plus one. Now, imagine that you're given a function. We say your function is a function f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2. If you find the derivative of this function, the derivative of this function of x, this is x, we are going to get, by the power rule, we're going to have here 6x plus 0. The derivative of a constant is 0. Now, the, we, we have established in the previous video, in the initial video of this study, that integration is the opposite of deriv derivation we are trying to go back to the original function from the derivative of that given function so which means that if you find the indefinite integral of this function here of this derivative we should go back to our function f of x plus some constant c now we take this derivative of this function f dash of x is our 6x we are making this with respect to x so it's 6x dx this is going to be equal to applying this rule here what you're going to have here is 6 is a constant so it comes outside and then you're going to have 6 into 6 into you're going to have x so this should be into x raised to 2 because the power was 1 divided by that 2 and this is going to give us 6 divided by 3 is going to give us 6 divided by 2 is going to give us 3x squared. But because we are coming from this derivative here, we cannot predict exactly what was the value that came before it. So that's why we put plus c. If you take, for example, 3x squared plus 6, if you find the derivative of this, it's going to give you as well 6x. And if you find the integral of this, integration of this, as you can notice, the integration of this is basically the same thing that you're going to get here. So it means that if you're not considered a constant c, you're going to have an integral that has the same value, 3x squared. And it was as, it is as if you're saying that the yeah, this function is equal to this function. And that is not true. These functions are different. What I'm saying is this 6 dash 6x dx is going to be 3x squared. If you don't put that constant c, this will look like this. But if the constant c is an unknown constant, so this c of this, this equation here, of this integral, is not the same c as this one. So there is something which we don't know, but it's a constant, that's for sure we know. This is how I apply the polynomial rule. Now, the next rule we have is when we have an exponential function. Now, we know that this is our function, so we can, we can imagine a function, let's say uh, we have a function f of x, which is equal to 2 into uh, 2 e raised to 4 x. This is our function. We have seen that the derivative of this, which is f dash of x, is going to be equal to 2 into the derivative of this, this power, which is equal to 4, into the original function e raised to 4 x. This is what we have. Integration means to take the derivative and go back to try to find what was the original function. So this here is going to give us we can stretch it over here, 8e raised to 4x. This is what we get, derivative of this function here. Now, if you want to find integration of this, integration of this, which is an indefinite integral, is of, of this 8e raised to 4x dx. This is equal to, 8 is a constant, you take it out, and then you're going to have e raised to 4x dx. Now, what you have to do is just apply the rule. So what we're going to do here is just taking this 4 and instead of multiplying as we did on the derivative in integration with the opposite of multiplication. What is the opposite of multiplication? It is division. So I'm going to have 8 into this 4 here that I was multiplying comes to divide. So I'm going to have e raised to 4x divided by 4. So what I'm going to have 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2 and I'm going to have here e raised to 4x plus c because we are dealing with an, uh, an unspecified interval. 
Now we also have situation of trigonometric functions. Let us say we can just directly write it because there's no special thing to do. Is if you have for example derivative or uh, integral or integration of cos of x dx. What is it equal to? Now we know that from the the for concept of derivatives, what what is the thing that we have to ask ourselves? What is the thing that we had to differentiate in order for us to get cos of x? What to differentiate to get cos of x? was sine of x was sine of x because if you have d by dx of sine of x guess what you have you have cos of x so this is the third rule and also have the fourth one you have here for example sine of x dx now how did you get the question is how can we get to this sign of x using derivatives now if you find derivative of cos of x it is going to give us minus sine of x so which means that this sign of x did not come from cos of x but what happened here how can we come to the sign of x if you see this here in this side you have a minus sign in this side you don't have a minus sign so what you basically do is if you have the minus derivative of dx cos of x which is the minor derivative of cos of x what you get here you get sine of x so we can conclude that the integration of sine of x is equal to minus cos of x and all of this is plus c because we are dealing with indefinite integrals